Hi there, this is Ted from Ted's Baseball Vlogs, and today I'm at Coors Field for a three-game series. I'm going to be going to two games, two or night games. I'm not going to the day game, though. This is my first time at Coors Field. This is going to be my 10th Major League Stadium. The stadium's going to open in about 30 minutes for batting practice. Definitely going to be in the outfield trying to snag a home run. Padres are going to be batting, so hopefully uh, Fernando Tatis can hit some bombs during batting practice. He did come back yesterday, which is a good thing because I was a little nervous about him not playing. Definitely it's a good thing that he's back. He's playing in the outfield instead of shortstop, so that it can be easier on his body. So anyways, I'm gonna be going to the front gate. I'm gonna get in line and get inside. Okay, so this is gate E where they're gonna be, you're gonna be able to enter for batting practice. We have access to the outfield until an hour and a half before first pitch. So the uh, Rockies just got done with batting practice. A well, good thing is they open up two hours before batting practice, contrary to Angel Stadium, where they only up not open up 90 minutes. But of course, they uh, close off the uh, right field. So you can only have access to left field until I believe an hour and a half before first pitch. So once this thing opens, I'm probably gonna go over there. I think they got all the balls in there. This is where the bullpens are. It's a nice water feature. So it opens an hour and a half before first pitch, before game time that is. A closer look at that water feature in center field pretty nice. Replicates the uh, forest and the, uh, the mountains. Now the Padres are going to be taking batting practice pretty soon. So let me just step into the cage. They have the L frame right there. I may hang out in center field where there's less people. There's Fernando Tatis Jr. new position in right field. They took him, moved him from the shortstop position just to mitigate the uh, risk of his um, being injured more, more impact on his body, more stressful on his body playing shortstop than is the uh, outfield. That's pretty good that he's back. Hopefully he hit some dingers, long ones too. I was in San Diego on July 27th where he hit that massive home run. I think it's 440 feet that went. Long uniform. You want one? You got one yet? No, I don't Okay, here you go. So that's 35 for me. First ball in Colorado. <laughs> okay, batting practice is over. I did get one ball, which was a hit by a fungo from a coach. I did give it to a kid. I probably should have kept that ball because it was my first ball in Colorado, but I wanted to be nice. There's actually a kid next to me, about the same height as me. But it was coming in my direction too, so it was kind of a tie. As a little kid, I probably would have let him get it. But not, a, not somebody my size. I haven't gotten one in a while. A few balls, there's one ball that went in here. Probably a ton that went in there. He's getting them all out, collecting them all. Hopefully he tosses them up. That'd be awesome. I think that's what everybody's waiting for. Do they toss them up here? Let's see if he tosses them up here. Getting all the balls, all the Easter eggs. On the Easter egg hunts. It's a little high for him to throw though, I mean, a non-baseball player. <laughs> Probably too high for his pay grade to throw it up here. Actually sitting behind the Padres dugout over there. When he rows back, get a few toss up foul ball. So coach, let's see what he does with these balls. Just don't think any of them are for us. I think he's just getting them ready for bullpen practice. We got a speed pitch. What this is. This place is for um, kids and whoever wants to throw a speed pitch. Yeah, I'm going to throw my arm. <laughs> Permanent disabled list. It's just a um, baseball simulator or something like that. Sorry. Looks like their computers are down, so hopefully that's not stadium-wide and that's just that location because uh, I'm ready to eat. It's not good when the system's down. This technology's making it like... <laughs> You can't do anything if it's down. Ducks. <laughs> Systems are down. So I can't order any food. Trying to find somewhere where I can get something to eat. This isn't good. Star fans means upset fans. Yep. I wonder if it has to do with only using credit cards and stuff. I'm definitely gonna expose the system and let MLB know that they need to go to cash again. MLB, you better be listening to me. You better be watching this video.
this is not this is not acceptable MLB. So they were able to get the systems back up. Now I have two hot dogs called Super Dogs. Paid 11.50 for them. There's a Rockies mascot over there. I'll show him what, what his name is. Looks black used to be on the Angels. Good timing of the comeback. Go Tatis! Look at the out in the outfield though for a home run. Maybe I'll do that next inning, next time he's up. First pitch of the strike. Here it goes. He's got it short. So far, 415 over there to clear it. It's a pretty good spot. I only paid 60 something dollars for this seat. With fees. Win some games. Gotta get those Dodgers. Gotta get those Dodger dogs and those Giants. I kinda like it when they do that. It's like they're holding people back until they're off the diamond. There we go. Oh, that one's bye-bye. That one's in the bullpen. Struck out, and since he let the ball go by him, able to get on first. I'm heading out over to left field right now because Santis is going to be hitting in this group in this inning. Third up. So we got the pitcher up, and then we got Tatis up. Okay. Let's see right here. I'll just go for Tatis, and I'll go back. Come on, Tatis. Ah, oh, he lined out. So they have this rule where you gotta wait until you go to your seat until the batter's out of the box. Which is good because it gets kind of annoying when people are walking in front and you can't see a good home run because somebody's getting in the way. We have one out. Hopefully you don't get a double play because I gotta like scramble down there for the third out ball. I'm actually right by that, uh, behind that kid with the green shirt on. Please don't get a double play, either strike out or do something other than a double play. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So we're actually able to get down. Gotta hurry up a little bit. Come on, people's way. Yep. Sorry. Stand correct and two seats behind this kid in the green shirt. <laughs> 21.
score is 5-1 Colorado. Oh, back in the field. Toss it over there. Come on, double play, of course. Hit two. We're out of it. Like the Angel just lost to the Yankees 2-1. Right field at number 23, Fernando Tatis Jr. Here we go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, uh, quiet. Again, at least a double. Churro and some roasted nuts. Eight dollars and change. Padres! One, two, three, stretcher. Cincinnati. We're gonna gain on the wild card. Come on, let's win. Uh, go, go! Yeah! Yeah! Hell yeah! Tight game, baby! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Yes! Tight game, baby! Padres down. Special since Cincinnati won 14 to 5 against Chicago Cubs. They're like two games behind the wild card. Now the Padres. Gotta get this thing, gotta get some leads. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a man on first or walk-off run. That game. Oh no. Get it. Yeah, got it. One out. One out, one out, baby. Oh no! It's over! Damn! Beat the Padres six to five. Unfortunately, the Padres couldn't um, come up and win the game. You know, Cincinnati's actually gaining on them. Cincinnati won the game today, and they were like two behind the wild card coming into this game. So I think they're about one behind the wild card. So San Diego needs to step it up and start winning. They had a good season so far. I don't want them to blow it. I know the Angels aren't doing that well this year, but. There's really not to expect from the Angels that have horrible pitching and horrible management. They definitely need to, uh, already need to sell the team. Uh, we're talking about the Padres. I think it's uh, they're in a worse situation than the Angels if they end up not winning the wild card and going to the playoffs. So anyways, I hope the Padres um, turns this around and start winning games. And 
anyways, I'm gonna head back to the hotel. I have a game tomorrow. I ended up getting one ball I gave to a kid. I probably should have kept that one because uh, that was my first ball at Coors Field. I've got a ball at every major league stadium. I've been to 10 so far. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, and have a great day. So there's this mall street in Denver, 16th Street. There's a bus that comes and it's a free ride. I'm just walking back to the hotel. There's people serve food here. It's like a park.